another day in paradise. I don't even know what number stage we're on now. Oh! <laughs> oh my days. Hello and welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking today about Dakar. Um, a bit of a review really on, on how Dakar went for me this year and those anyone watching who hasn't watched the diary series the Dakar diaries uh, we did during Dakar um, go right back to the early videos here on YouTube and they're, they're all there I think there's maybe 12 or so um, and I'm pleased we did those but uh, it was tough because I was obviously riding so doing it solo and uh, after a day's riding and then mechanicing and eating and being absolutely hanging, it um, last thing I wanted to do was pick a camera up and oh, I just thought to say before I, well, I'm still sorting stuff out. Is uh, this is relentless? Like I didn't really account for the intensity off the bike. I knew riding was going to be hard, but it just does not stop. So, um, but there's there's there's. The feedback actually has been quite good because people say it shows just kind of what it was like and they could sense my uh they could feel my tiredness through the through that but uh check those out if you haven't seen them um dakar 23 is still something i kind of pinch myself about i don't um almost can't quite believe that i i, I did it and, and made it even to the start line it was, Hey James, you okay? <laughs> and you? Well, I think so. We're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you win. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is the first day. Just the first day. Yeah, yeah. So nothing that you don't know. No. Okay. No, no. Yeah, we'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> so enjoy. I will try. Okay. Thank you. For the photo. Take time. Take time. Yeah, it was all part of the journey I suppose and part of the challenge so I, I, um, quite I would say I'm proud of myself for, for getting there and, and getting through it and, and uh, learnt a lot made some good friends and I wouldn't say it's a funny relationship actually I wouldn't say friends I'd say maybe bonds you know the, the guys there especially in the solo class that I was in the Malay Moto class um, you know that they're they're uh, a select few, I would say, of um, motorcyclists from, you know, motorcyclists have a bit of a reputation of being a bit crazy. Sit in uh, there and, oh my, whoa! Uh, anyway, but um, to go and do that class solo, it's uh, another level. And then to put us all in the same kind of paddock area, um, there were some good characters and uh, definitely made, formed some bonds with people. Uh, and, that, that, that you couldn't gain anywhere else in, 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 in any other environment. I don't think. Maybe, maybe perhaps actually like somewhere like it, 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 in the war or something, you know, in the army when you go in the forces out on the front line or uh, in training, you would look after each other somewhat. But it, it, probably a little bit like that, but uh, yeah, it was, um, Dakar is tough and I knew it was going to be tough and, and um... I got in just before five and that is now 20 past 10 I've just finished so I, all I've got to do now is sort my kit I'm actually one of the last ones still messing about but um, I would say I've got the cleanest bike no, I'm a bit biased but I just like I made it tougher for myself with an injury which um, good and taking the positives from that it, it forced me to really slow down and uh, take my time and just then focus on getting to the finish because it's hard to take the racer out of a racer. If that makes sense. When the, when any, any flag drops, um, you want to race and chase and catch the guy in front. And um, that was, that's quite tough. And I think for many racers, you know, a lot of uh, successful riders in other forms go and do Dakar and um, it's tough to, to hold that back and sort of almost turn it off. So it, so plans for the future. There's a lot of people asking if I'm going back and um, 
the plan. Well, I can say now officially at the moment, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing Dakar in 24 um, unless some miracle happens, which just registration for Dakar 24 required a 5,000 euro deposit with your registration or application really. Um, and where I'm at at the moment, I'd say even in, 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 in life in general is firstly, firstly, I've done it. I've ridden, ridden, I've entered Dakar and got to the finish of Dakar. بشارك في فئة الرالي دو هذه أول مشاركة للبريطاني جيمس في رالي دكار شارك لأكثر من عشر سنوات في بطولة السوبر بايك. Kind of gave me a lot of purpose and um, need. I need to go and, and, and feed that, feed the need. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! But I've also got a wife and three kids and a house that renovation that we're trying to finish and one thing I'm really conscious of at the moment and me and my wife, wife both are is just how quickly our children are growing up and um, although it's only three weeks away in in January really um, it's not somewhere I can take the family to enjoy it and it, it's not an ideal place really and it's a lot of moving around not good but um, it's not just that it's a whole preparation it took so much of my time and life up last year uh, in preparation getting ready for it and you know it did stress me out it added pressures in areas and just it's just you know the amount of times I kind of had to say no to the kids because I was busy doing something and I still feel that now even with everyday life you know so it, that's where I'm at, at the moment I want to just commit my time there but um, the potential plan and this is something I it's going to require quite a lot of planning and effort but um, to, to launch a bit of a to launch a project Dakar 25 and to go back to go back to Dakar with a decent budget and a team a mechanic a truck or a van a big van really you well regulations are if you go with a vehicle that has to have two two mechanics with it or two two persons to, to support that vehicle so straight away I can tell you like a vehicle entry is 7,000 euro and then it's 10,000 euro ahead so straight away is 20, 27 that was last year's fee so I don't know if they've gone up this this year for 24 they may even go up for more for 25 that's the way it is but um, straight away we're talking 25,000 sterling at least for to take some help and a truck or a van um, and that way it would mean it would relieve me a little bit of the mechanics and the pressures of not messing anything up and uh, sleeping in a tent, you know, we could put a decent mattress in the bed, in a decent bed in the van and... Uh, sleep, because I need more sleep. And where I'm, where I'm going with this is, A, I'd, I'd enjoy it a bit more. Um, it would take a lot of the strain off from doing it Malay. I, you know, I, although I wouldn't, not going to say I would never do it that way again. It was, um, it makes me, it's making me grin so it, like I can, it is does challenge you and it's uh good and bad but generally good in the end if you get to the finish but um i think to to go back with support um would allow me to enjoy it more focus more on the riding not going back to win because that's just completely off the cards it, or even to really push for a result i mean it'd be good to get a little bit further up the scorecard up the result sheet and um finish a little bit nearer the front, which I, I, I genuinely know I could. I, I, I rolled off a lot last year or this year and uh, also um, injured myself. So I had to ride, ride an injury, which took a lot of pace out of me. But um, it, it would be to go back and uh, with, a, with a production crew or person that, can, that we can fully document um, almost like a docu-series. So to run it in a commercial way, perhaps, I don't know, I'm sort of speaking aloud here and brainstorming as, as, we, as I shoot this video, but um, to get some commercial partners on board to sponsor a docu-series and, and get the whole journey from the preparation, from the fundraising, the application, registration, entries and uh, traveling to, to 
drop the bike to Marseille, the initial scrutineering, and then the whole the whole kind of journey, you know, and 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 it will really get deep at the when we're at the event at Dakar to share exactly or try to really capture just how like tough it really is. It, it a lot of people I've spoke to have this impression that it's tough or how long those road rides are and and they, they don't no one I cannot tell you how hard that is but there's no choice you know it's like it just makes you realize what you are able to do you know sometimes it's easy to tap out in in life and and find an easy way out to not do something but um yeah you have to dig deep at Dakar and I want to I want to really try to capture the want to capture that how hard it is and how low it takes people or how how deep it gets into people that are there racing and f and from capturing all that hopefully as best we can it would really gain the true I'd say respect and not in a way that riders or drivers do Dakar to walk around with their chest out and say they've done Dakar but just to really show how it affects people and how how tough it really is because it's, there's been some quite good documentaries out recently on Netflix and things which um, which show it well but I really feel I missed a lot of opportunity last year or this year when I went to Dakar um, because there were so many instances and low moments and the high moments you know there was there was What is this? God, you both. <laughs> Idiot. Complete it, mate. It's a true roller coaster of emotion from riding, setting off from the bivouac in the dark, and then uh, the sun rising and Watching a sunrise over the dunes in the morning is like... Good morning, Dakar! Just special moments and, and, and testing times. A true roller coaster of emotion and physical feeling. So um, that's, that's, the, that's the plan, I think, at the moment, is, is, a, is to pretend, is, I say potentially the plan. That's what I'm thinking in my head. I, I'm, I'm going to have um, a fairly, fairly off off season and um, still ride ride in enduro. And um, I want to really focus on TT next year and have a be in the best place I possibly can for next season. It's road racing, um, and then in the background, just try and boil away at this uh, this Dakar project and. Um, Make it into something uh, to show what, so to show truly what the Dakar is. And there, there, there are videos out there. Lyndon Poskett's done some good ones, and I've watched all those. I've watched those two or three, the whole lot, two or three times over, trying to learn before I went to to this Dakar. Um, but it, yeah, there's just there's so much to kind of express, and and being in Saudi, that's not like you can. People can just pop over and watch and spectate. It's very hard to, to gauge and get a true, you know, a true aspect of. I can't believe we're here. Like, I you've done it. Rest. I need to rest now. <laughs> you've done it, buddy. You've done it. Somehow. I don't know. All that work. Unreal. Unreal. All that work, all that skill. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I'm broken. But it's worth it. Of course it's worth it. Unbelievable. It's amazing. You do it. You do it. Whoa. Hey, we have some beer tonight. <laughs> It's going to be very hard to capture it, but and I, I don't think we will ever do it full justice unless someone was actually there. There, but it's uh, kind of a fly on the wall documentary of 
the journey through Dakar and, and, and uh, hopefully get to the finish of another one. And maybe, you know, it's just brainstorm again to take other riders, do a group thing, you know, bring some riders together and do it as a team and, uh, and get back there. But for sure, Dakar is on my radar and, and it's, a, as I said at the beginning, it's like a new drug that I need to get and need to feed. So um, talking about it is making me excited. I'm, I am gutted that I can't be doing it in 24, but I'll, um, and it'll break me watching the, it'll break me watching it from, uh, from back here and home. But um, also the bigger picture, as I said, like time and kids and life in general, you know, I just think, um, let me know in the comments if you've got any bright ideas or um, particular interesting ideas that could, could drive it. But, um, you know, I'm far from, I wouldn't say I'm far, I'm not, you know, I haven't pressed the green go button yet on this Dakar 25 project, but it's it's something I, I, uh, Incredible race, special, special people. <sighs> Crazy. Let's get to that finish line. Especially when I'm here at home watching Dakar 24, it's going to be that big green go button is going to be absolutely screaming at me to press it. So um, I think the sooner I can get, if I'm going to do it, then the sooner we can get the ball rolling on that, the better. So. Um, as I said, if you haven't watched the other actual Dakar series I did, then scroll back through the other videos and have a watch of those. Let us know your thoughts, but uh, yeah, I'm, it's funny. As soon as I start talking about it, it just revs me up and uh, I get keen. But honestly, it's um, if it was just a case of shooting out and doing three weeks over in Saudi, I'd be there, done. But, you know, I'd be doing it. But it's... Um, it isn't. There's so much logistics and planning and preparation to do to get there. It's tough. So that, um, yeah, we'll see. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shoot. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found some interest in it. Uh, and I'll I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks for watching. Finally, you are here. It's just amazing, Jim. Oh. Just amazing.